Hey Fruit Bath, so today is a Snapchat Q&A and that little dum dum. Yours truly is here. Oh, aren't we lucky? This video is going to be actually 100,000 hits. Just, just because of your face. beautiful face. So I'm going to ask all the snappies. I'm going to go anywhere I've got a business meeting. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we all believe that. So I'm going to ask the Snapchatters to send me some snaps. Hey Fruit Bats, time for another weekly Q&A, Snapchat Q&A. So send me any video questions you have and I'll answer as many as I can. Okay. Hey Fruit Bats, time for another weekly q &A. Okay, I'm going to send that out now. And let's see what we get. But first, before we get to that, I just want to say I'm going to Brunei, um, like tomorrow. So the videos, I'm going to try and you know stick with daily uploads. I don't know how I'm going to go. And Zoella, her video is coming, so just... Don't give me a hard time. I swear there's a lot of 13 year olds who are on my back riding me at the moment. Just give me a break, all right? She takes a bit of research because she's a YouTuber and not like some Hollywood celebrity. So stay tuned for that. And also, I got a tattoo. Yes, I never, you know what? I never thought I would get a tattoo. That's actually upside down. And of course, yes, it's vegan ink. That's meant to be. I'll flip it around so I can show you. And I love it. I really, I think it's fantastic. And when I go into vegan restaurants, I can just say, hey, Jay, you know, this is what I want. I want vegan, don't give me anything else. Hi, Freely. I just wanted to know what made you decide you wanted a toad, and when did you decide that you wanted one? Ah, so what made me feel like I wanted a tattoo? Wow. Well, I've been wanting a tattoo, okay, I'll tell you a little story. I've been wanting a tattoo for a long time, since I was like 17 years old, and at the time when I was 17, which is like 18 years ago, <laughs> 18 years ago is a long time, so at that time, what was in it at that, that time was like an ankle, uh, an ankle tattoo, like a chain, like kind of like a barbed wire, sort of like Pamela Anderson has around her arm. That was really in fashion at the time and I wanted one around my ankle so badly and my dad was like, there's no way you're getting that tattoo. That's ugly, you're too young for a tattoo, blah, blah, blah. And I, I really hated him at that time. I really, the planes is going on by. See you later. So I really hated him at that time, big, big time. I was like, how dare he, I want this tattoo so badly. My friends are getting this tattoo. It's kind of like a tramp stamp. You know, everyone get, got it at the time. And I just love my dad for stopping me from getting it because it was a big old mistake. Like if that was on my ankle right now, it'd be the ugliest thing you'd ever see. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But I have always still wanted a tattoo, but something that meant something. And finally, I have something that means something. It means vegan, it means compassion, it means love, it means unity, it means just so many amazing things and I'm so proud to have that on my body. Freely, do you want a girlfriend in addition to your boyfriend or in Ryder? Because I'll be your vegan girlfriend. Oh, that's a... Let me know. Yes or no? Uh, that's the best snap. That is so good. Oh, Harley, you've been replaced. You've been replaced. This girl wants to be my girlfriend. But um, she said in addition to you, so maybe she's looking for a threesome. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, Lotus Eyes. I'm going to keep that in mind. You might make me um, switch teams. Like a bat for both teams. You never know. You never know. What is your least favorite exercise? What is my least favorite exercise? Least favorite? I would say swimming. I am shit at swimming. I'm so bad at swimming. I remember when I was in school, I was always the worst swimmer out of everybody. I always used to panic. Like there'd be this exercise where the teacher would throw like something that would sink to the bottom of the pool. We'd throw something in there and we'd all have to dive down and get it. And everybody could do it except me. I was so embarrassed about it. I was such a shy child. That's something, I know this is not really on the topic, but you know, I was such a shy child growing up. I had like no confidence in myself. I was kind of, kind of like the child who would like hide behind my mom and not want to talk to anyone and get really bright red in the face whenever anyone would speak to me. I'd be like blushing like, oh my God, someone's speaking to me. Just a very introverted person. So I hope that inspires those of you who is feeling that way now, who's feeling like shy and unconfident, that you can blossom into a confident, extroverted person like I largely am myself now, although I am a little bit of an introvert still, but so much more confident and just happy in myself. So yeah, like 
yeah. So when it comes to the swimming thing, I'm crap, and that is my least favorite exercise. Hey, Freely. Hey. I was just wondering, um, what happened to your other dog, uh, Minpin? Minpin. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. So I'm, I'm actually glad that she, uh, she asked this question because we have a troll who's been trolling us and hating on us for like three years now. She's really dedicated and a little bit loopy, like a lot bit loopy. And she actually has been spreading around that our minpin, Percy, who we had, you know, maybe about a year and a half ago, that we killed him. We killed him by feeding him a vegan diet. And I just want to clear that up. He's, he is not dead. He is having the time of his life. So Percy is one, he's a farm dog, okay? So when we got him, we adopted him and it was kind of like a bit of a foster situation. We were basically looking after him and looking for a more appropriate home because we didn't have land or anything like that and he just had so much energy. He needed to run, okay? He needed to run, needed to play, needed to have more area than he had. So it was kind of cruel to keep him where we had him. So I researched and researched, I put out my feelers and I found the perfect place where he could um, be with like four other dogs. So he's with four other dogs, which he loves. He's like, He's like, he's like a dude, okay? He's like a dude. He likes to just hang out with the dudes. So they're all hanging out. They've got a farm, and he is so happy. And we actually get updates from the lady who took him. We've got photos. She actually she put him in a tutu the other day, the other week. Um, she had him dressed in a tutu, so he looked happy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, as long as he's happy and he's well-fed, then you can put him in a tutu. I'm sure he's not going to you know, have a, a bad time about that. But she, she's from actually... Manhattan in New York and she loves min pins so she's looking after him very well and he is, he's well looked after so nothing to worry about there I do miss him I miss him a lot though Harley does too because he actually likes Harley more than Fixie does okay so we just had an intermission then when the internet didn't work so I went and got some sushi went and got some sushi got something for dum-dums over there you appreciate that dum-dums fuck off fuck you up the face. ooh all right, so now we have internet. I can actually open these without getting that little circle thing that I don't want to ever see again in the rest of my life. What's your favorite vegan dessert? What's your... <laughs> That's pretty cool getting a snap from the snow like that. Favorite vegan dessert? I'd have to say it was last night when I had a vegan chocolate brownie. They're amazing. Did you like it, Harley? What was that? Vegan chocolate brownie. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it doesn't matter what he thinks, so that really doesn't matter. What can we do? Hi, Billy. My question is, do you ever crack and have, like, cravings for something that has dairy or meat in it? Mmm. No way. No way in the world. Like, I can't tell you when the last, like... You know what? I haven't felt like that ever since being vegan. It's been over eight years. No way! Just because there's so much amazing vegan food that I can just stuff my face with if I'm feeling a little bit peckish. But I think that I've really made the ethical connection. And for me, uh, milk is milk equals pain, suffering, cruelty, uh, pus. So mm -mm, no way! Just stuff your, your mouth with this stuff. Rice pepper roll. Mm, really good as well. I was wondering how you would deal with the really apathetic friends and family the hello the little the apathetic friends and family what i did with say my dad for instance was i you know like i tried with him a lot i have tried with him and he said you know if i live with him he will go vegan but i'm not going to do that okay i'm not going to uproot my life and go and live with my dad and be in an environment that I don't want to be in and all of that, but I did my best. I educated him. I said, look, this is how it is. You know, I want you to work, watch Earthlings. And he's like, no, I'm not going to watch that. We even actually, Harley and I um, cleaned out his fridge. Harley spoke to him and distracted him. And I was in the background, like cleaning out the fridge, getting rid of all the animal products, which we actually fed to other animals in the wild afterwards, getting rid of these animal animal products and replacing them with like tofu and some soy protein and like just really tasty vegan food. And he wasn't so happy. He wasn't so happy after that. He was kind of like, no, you shouldn't have done that, blah, blah, blah. But then he actually liked a lot of the vegan food. So, you know, it was, it was a good thing to do because it gave him a taste of veganism and that's what you gotta do sometimes. So the short answer really is drop the bomb 
okay? Tell them about veganism, make sure they hear you, make sure they get the message, and then you just gotta walk away because that's all you can really do or you're gonna go crazy in the end. Do what you can, but don't, you know, do too much, if you know what I mean. Hey, really, why do you think most people after having eating disorders go to a vegan lifestyle? I did, and I uh, thank you so much Hi. for that. Thank you, love Hi. you. Can you like stop scrunching? Uh, okay, so why do most people who have eating disorders come to veganism? I think because veganism is known to be a healthy lifestyle. And a lot of people who have eating disorders like I did myself really are health conscious people. You know, generally like we want to be healthy. We want to really be our healthiest, but we are lost. We don't know how to get there because there's so much propaganda out there coming our way. There's so much bullshit, you know, eat this way, eat that way, you know, starve yourself, rah, rah. So, we, so people start to go a bit crazy and they don't know what to do and it can turn into an eating disorder when all along they just really wanted to be how they're meant to be and that's fit, healthy and lean. Like that has been their desire. So I really feel like that's why um, people who have the classic like eating disorders come to a vegan lifestyle. Okay, Dave eats fruit. I've seen him before on my Snapchat. I'm gonna wipe this screen, it's really bad. Okay, here. Oh, okay, Dave. Hey, Freely. Hey. What kind of tattoo are you getting? <laughs> Ooh, hello. Good one. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh -huh, that's a bit. Was that a pineapple? Was that a pineapple, people? I, I couldn't see that properly because I was holding it up there, but that looked like a really cool pineapple. Can I re replay that? No, I cannot. Um, nice tattoo, so yeah, we talked about this before. It is a jet vegan, and I really, really love it. So thanks for showing me your tats. All right, another one. No, no, we're on a roll. We are on a roll right now, fruit bats. Okay. Okay, I miss that because of the plane. Why do I keep doing that when a plane goes? I'm sorry, Catherine. We'll have to do you next time. Um, okay. Making that circle, you know I don't like to see the circle. But yeah, that was fun, as usual, and it's so good to see young faces. Like, I can only imagine if I found this lifestyle when I was like 13 or 15 or something like that, it would be so freaking cool. You guys and girls who are young, who are finding this lifestyle, should just be like patting yourself on the back big time because you're gonna change this world. You are the upcoming generation. You are gonna like completely revolutionize this world. If you get your ass on YouTube, on social media, spread the word. Well, the word because you are the next wave of vegans and you know it's incredible you're gonna change the world forever if you're really vocal about it all right so that's my video today I'm you know I'm really happy with my J yes and that's it so if you enjoyed this video and you want more snapchat Q&A's give us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon